Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. You'll have to excuse the wind in this video. It's become particularly blustery and I'm outside in the garden. This is a Whirlpool, 6th cent, 7 kilo, AZB7570. It's a foreign model. I'm not sure what country we're dealing with here. Can't see a nameplate. Let's have a look around the back. It doesn't have a country code on it from what I can tell. Like normally the UK ones will have GB or UK written on them. This one, don't know. Don't recognize the language, I might Google it, might not. It's a condenser dryer, and the features that I want to talk to you today about are these two hoses on the back, which to me make a lot of sense. So you've got the white one, which goes from the pump at the bottom, where the water has condensed out, and pumps it up to the drawer on the front, which is where you drain the water from. And then it's got an overflow that runs back down to the pump. It'll direct any water down there to a sump in the bottom, small small pump sump, and probably trigger the, to the pump that uh, it shouldn't keep pumping and it should stop drying and condensing but this feature here what I like is that the, the hoses are on the back and what that means is you can snap out this white hose and put it into a drain and so you don't have to empty the drawer if you have a utility room where you can do that which is uh, pretty clever and I haven't seen that before on a UK spec model I don't come across many condenser dryers but what I've seen in the past is that you can make an arrangement to the drawer sometimes like that there would be a little nipple on the bottom that you have to attach a hose to it, which is a lot more work than just snapping it on the front. I might do a teardown on this machine, depending on what comes from it. Here's the filter, which looks reasonably clean. There's a bit of stuff in it, but nothing much. The machine itself looks quite clean as well. I'm not sure what was wrong with this one. Uh, the cable was clipped when I found it. It's a bit cruddy in there, but that's nothing major. It is missing a door, obviously, on the condenser, but I think they were ripped off it after it was left outside. It's got a few scuffs and scrapes. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's that's this uh, Whirlpool Sixth Sense AZB 7570. Quite a clever little machine. And if you know what country those words are from, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'd just be interested to know. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.